Hey guys, it's Jordan here in this video. I'm going to be answering a question I got in a comment uh, recently, and that is what is HDR and AEB? So HDR stands for a high dynamic range. It basically is just a metric or I guess people say HDR, um, you know, when it's just, you're trying to capture a large range of of information right so HDR is often shot at uh, if you do a regular exposure at zero and then a negative three which is a darker image which gets more information in the highlights and then a plus three uh, I say plus three you could do plus two or minus two or whatever you feel that uh, photos look best for you but for us zero negative three and plus three look good so plus three you're you're boosting your exposure um, and uh, you're getting more detail in the shadows. So then you can take all three of those and blend them together. Um, that's what they call HDR. Uh, when you're referring to it in, in real estate photography, it's just taking multiple shots and blending them together. And the end result is one image that has good highlights, good shadows, and is, is uh, just a lot of detail overall. So. Uh, like older cameras that if you just take one shot, you know, the dynamic range isn't very good. Like you're not getting a lot of detail in the, in the highlights and the shadows. And that's just high dynamic range is just a wider range. I guess more information through different stops of light, if that makes sense. And AEB, well, let me get this off of my face. AEB stands for automatic uh, exposure brackets and so that that's what um, we use in our Sony cameras so automatic right so it you you fire you shutter once and it takes a zero it takes a negative three and then it takes a plus three you can change the order and how it shoots and you can also have a timer on it there's bracket settings um, within a Sony camera but I'm sure there are in there actually are in uh, Canon cameras as well I'm not too familiar with Nikon but automatic exposure brackets, right? So you're not having to manually adjust, um, having to set exposure value at zero, then set one at negative three, and then set one at plus three. That's a lot of work. Um, if you have the automatic, you just shutter it once, boom, boom, boom. It shoots all three at once. And then you can take those shots, blend them together, and then you can get your uh, HDR um, I know with real estate photography, they talk about HDR. That's usually no lighting, right? It's just HDR where you get a, a natural light lit zero, negative three plus three or whatever those values are. Or you have flambient where you're using a flash exposure and ambient. And uh, anyways, there's it's just kind of some different terms in, in regards to real estate photography. So HDR is kind of known as is the most basic. I would say kind of entry level HDR. And we actually shoot HDR uh, around here as well. You can get really good results uh, depending on how you're editing your photos. So anyways, hope that answers your question. If you're interested in learning more about the real estate uh, photography business, you can check out our free workshop. The link is in the description below. That's gonna do it for this one. Reach out if you have any questions. We'll see you guys on the next one.